Good evening and welcome to the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee meeting, Advisory Committee meeting for February 21st, 2022. We do have a quorum and I call this meeting to order. First thing I need is an approval from the last meetings. If I could have a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve minutes from the last meeting. A second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. All right, before we get started, I'm gonna do a little picking. We've got a couple of new board members. I'm gonna ask them, uh, put them on the spot a little bit, and remember, you are on TV. So smile oh. pretty. <laughs> we would just like for you to introduce yourself uh, and maybe just tell us why you wanna be on the Park and Recs Commission. So we'll start with Jody first. Okay, that's me. Hi, I'm Jody Espinoza. I have lived in Laverne since 2019. Um, I want to be part of the board, Parks and Recreation Board is because I've the last few years I've seen what you guys have been doing and I really love it and I want to kind of go forward with it. Um, <laughs> that's that's good, Jody. Yeah. We just we just want to know who you are and uh, who I am. <laughs> Our next person is Chuck. Hello, I'm Chuck Isabel. I lived in Rutherford County almost 30 years and say about 12 years of that here in Laverne. <clears throat> I saw uh, an opportunity to do more. I'm on a couple other advisory boards for Laverne as well. So just trying to do more. That's very good. I like people that come out and volunteer. And uh, Miss Kathy, David, Andrew, Sheila, you all probably don't, you may or may not recognize Miss Jody. Whenever we have the music in the park, she's up front and center <laughs> shaking her thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> so she likes to come to the events. All right, we'll get started here. The first thing <laughs> is the anniversary fun run. Uh, is this Miss Kathy? It is. Okay. Um, it is scheduled for March 19th. It'll start at the Bicentennial Pavilion at 9 a.m. It's going to be held on the Greenway, turn around at the Roundabout at Stones River, and then return. Uh, right now we have 34 sign-ups. Um, registrations, we extended it to March 11th. We do have enough now to move forward. Um, it's not an official timed race. It is a... Uh, just a participation will receive, or participants will receive a participation medal with the city's anniversary logo at completion. So it's not official. It's just come out and a community event, pretty How much. How many miles is the fun run? How many miles? Uh, it's five, a little five, under, I think what's a 5K, 3.2? It's a little, three, maybe 3.1. That yeah. was 3.6. Yeah. 3.6? Yeah. So it's going to start at the, I don't know why I can't talk. <laughs> I don't drink. So it starts at the pavilion and goes to where? Um, it's, they're going to do the greenway down um, near Shreveman to the roundabout at Stones River, and they'll turn around and then come back the way they went. So they'll end back at the pavilion. And that's three and a half mile down it's there? It's a little short of that. Yeah, if you have to take it up to the library where the trail ends, and when you come back, it's roughly like 3-1, somewhere in that area. And you all will hear me say this a lot, uh, board members, is uh, especially on social media, uh, Sheila, Kathy, whoever's been putting that out there, if you could just share it from the Laverne Parks and Rec page, you can share it from there um, and, and try to get it out there as much. I guess uh, I don't. Sometimes I watch Channel 3, I'm telling on myself, I'm assuming it's on there. It is. So uh, it's always uh, the main thing is to get that out there. Is there any questions about that? So I'm understanding since it's just for fun, Correct. kids can come out on their bicycles, parents can come with their kids in a stroller maybe, just make it a huge fun community yeah, event. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Just citizen participation. I cannot say that word today. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since I've ran a meeting. I can't. Uh, I, I can't babble. Any more questions? You're doing a good job. What's Not the babbling? cost of it? No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, there's no cost. Okay. Nope. Free. 
We try to do a lot of free stuff. Yes, that's great. And now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, one of my favorite things, and uh, I, I just assume that it's not going to change. If it is, they'll tell us about it. Okay. Kathy? Easter egg drive through um, this year. It is scheduled for April 9th. We do have a rain out day of April 16th, which we had to do our rain out day last year. Um, it's going to be um, structured like it was last year. It's going to be a drive through. It's going to funnel through the front parking lot. We'll hand out the eggs at Pavilion B in the back of the park. Um, we will have the golden eggs in each age group as we did last year with the four different age groups for the, the prizes. Um, it starts at 10 a.m. till 1130 or while supplies last. We had some leftovers from last year, so I don't see it running out again so we'll probably do the whole time frame so Can you uh, uh segment segment to like two three-year-olds to five-year-olds and five is it, or is it just everybody is the age groups um i believe it's zero to three uh -huh. four and five oh. six to eight and nine to twelve were the four breakdowns for the baskets so do you have when the cars come in do you make them wait if they got older kids in the car? No, we're they're all the bags are separated into age groups. Oh, so when yes. you get to the boot, oh, gotcha. we just they just okay. have to let us know what age group they have, so gotcha. we can pull out of the appropriate box. That way, we make sure that the age group gets the right chance for a golden egg. Okay, I see. To make it easy for you, Jody, I'll be one of the people that'll be standing about from here to that door down there, and I'll ask the person what ages, and they'll say three or seven or eight. And then with my big mouth, I will yell down to whoever's down there, and they will get that number of bags and have them ready. Oh, perfect. Last year was our first year of doing this, and it was awesome. It worked out well. Everybody oh, got candy. Fast. It was very organized. Uh, so oh. it, it works out really good. And I, I'm glad that uh, – I'm glad we're sticking with this, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it really went over good last year. It did, and Carol and I appreciate it more than anybody else yes. because we were human shields from the yes. little people. Yes. That was rough. This, I feel like everybody gets something. It's fair. No, there's no one getting 10, and then some poor child gets nothing, and they don't get trampled, and, mm -hmm. you know, there's none of that. And it goes very smoothly. Everybody that, of course, we helped with the traffic and everybody that was in the traffic or sitting there, everybody was in a good mood and the kids were excited because they were gonna to get to see the Easter Bunny. And, and, and overall it was, I didn't hear any complaining or anything yeah, We never anybody. heard any complaints either. We yeah. only heard positive yeah. after the event. Nothing but. Well, so, I think what started as a way to battle COVID and still provide yeah. something to, to the community, we discovered yes. that mm -hmm. this may be the better thing after all, because you would have so many kids there and so many walk away empty handed this way, at least we know everybody's getting something. So my two questions is, we ha I'm assuming we have an Easter Bunny. We do. We do. <laughs> we have. That would be helpful. Is that Easter Bunny as good as the one last year? <laughs> yes, sir. Andrew was all over that question, we already, already. Or I got him booked. Uh, who, you're the Easter Bunny? No. No. No, no, no. You won't, you won't ever know. We don't know. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then my next question, I hate to bring up the past, but did you ever find a, somebody for that last golden egg? I did not. That that prize is still up at the office and will be gifted this year if somebody grabs that egg range. It's still intact, age appropriate, and wrapped for this year. Okay. So I know that we're going to be a drive through. At any point, will there be any opportunities for photos with the Easter Bunny? Uh, we can work that in. Last year, we offered that virtual photo booth, but nobody used it. So well, if we're not, I'm just thinking yeah. that while everyone is sitting in line waiting for their turn to get their Easter goodies, mm -hmm. maybe we could just have the Easter Bunny kind of walk through um, and visit with the kids just while they're sitting there mm -hmm. waiting. Because, you know, the line kind of went really far back. Okay. Yeah, we can absolutely. And then maybe they that. could have some photos oh, outside the window. And the one that's no, we're only. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, and that one going up to each car. No. What about? Uh, would it be too chaotic to put the Easter Bunny up by Pavilion B if they want pictures to have them to circle and go up there, or 
when they come back out, it might be a little crazy getting back yeah, out. I don't know. We have we'll we we'll let you guys work on that. Yeah, that might bottleneck the back. Uh, that's, the that's what I was just thinking. But uh, Laura makes a good point. Kids like to get their pictures made with the Easter Bunny, but we certainly don't want them stopping and jumping out. No. We did at the very end of it last year, if I remember, when there wasn't any cars. There was some people got out and got their picture made, which was great. But, yeah. If, uh, it kind of holds the line up. Yeah. 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 That's what made it so great was things clicked. Yeah. I like the idea of the rain out because no rain makes that great. Any more questions about Easter? <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna move on to one of my favorites, the farmer's market. Have we got dates on that yet? Uh, well, that's um, what we're wanting. Last year we ran it, we started it in May, the middle of May, and there were no vegetables. So this year uh, we're looking maybe to change it June to August. Last year we had two weeks in May and one weekend in September. So we would just be eliminating those three weekends by making it June to August a lot of issues at the beginning were there were no vegetables so june 1st to the first yes the first week in june and all the weekends in august so there wouldn't be any gap in any of the time frame it would just be three months straight so and then uh, once we get the time set in stone then we'll start pushing and advertising for vendors and uh I think I can say this without regretting it, but the Senior Citizen Center tent should be back this year because of the uh, new employee handbooks and everything, guides that we voted in. And uh, in my personal opinion, the Senior Center tent brings people to Farmer's Market because they like to come by and chit chat and uh, the girls always make goodies, real good goodies, and, of course, banana pudding and stuff. And mm -hmm. I think it'll be a – and we're are we doing it at the same place, the same yes. way? Yes, as it would be the same time, same location. It would just be the shortened time period is the only difference. Yeah, I think I do remember hearing some, you know, rumbling last year – but there were no vegetables. They hadn't really come in yet, so it was more in. like a yeah. craft vendor thing. Yes. So we want them to come to the farmer's market for vegetables. I think that's a good idea, changing it around. And have you, uh, have you had an opportunity or anything to talk with other vendors? Or? I've had a few vendors reach out to me that are returning vendors wanting to um, let me notify them when the registration's open. So I have had some feedback that way, um, but I've not put it out there to solicit vendors until I had the date frame, so. Any questions about farmer's market? How can a vendor um, solicit you to find out if they want They can just call up the Parks and Rec office or email me. Um, I will be making a Facebook post tomorrow mm -hmm. though, putting it out there since we have discussed it and I'll start putting the registration form out there for people to start submitting it in. Thank you. Is Facebook the only uh, platform that we use for getting the, the news out? Um, Facebook is what we do through our office. There is a newsletter or a press release that will go through public relations that goes out. That's through City Hall, though. Oh. But it, and all I can do is forward the information there for them to put it out. Is, is the Facebook, is that just the hip Laverne or is there? Oh, well, it's the um, Laverne Parks and Rec Facebook, but then once we make our post, Sheila goes in and shares our events and so forth to the local hip Laverne, uh, we are Lake Smyrna, Forest. All of them, yeah. yeah. I do Smyrna, Antioch, yeah. Murfreesboro, whatever I can get in. And, and that's what I was saying a while ago. Anytime you see anything from Parks and Rec come up, share just share it. Yeah. Share it all you want to, Absolutely. you know. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, you know. Are we on LinkedIn or Instagram or anything like that? We don't. All we, yeah, uh, yeah not that I'm, not that That's our the only office. thing we use really is the park's Facebook page and you guys pushing it out. We have more participation from people that have seen y'all's post mm -hmm. that actually put it out to every mm -hmm. different group. Okay. Well, I'll be sure to push it. And they got that, <laughs> they got that, uh, 
thing that I just joined here recently called Next Door. Yes, mm -hmm. that's my very next door. Yeah, that's I'm not people, your, really, your neighbors. Anything. I haven't figured out how to use it just yet, but <laughs> uh, plus uh, we put signs up. I say we, they do, down there at the. Mm -hmm. I've seen that banner. Yeah. At the. Out, out front out that's here. That's really helpful, I think. Right on each side of Murfreesboro Road, like coming in on Waldron, over yeah. there way by, by Sam Ridley or something, showing. That's really important. And that is true. We do send the information to Channel 3 as well. So it will be on Channel 3. Yeah. I don't even know how to get Channel 3, to tell you the truth. I, I just have a streaming service. I don't even have cable. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube, okay. Yep. All right. Anything else on farmers market? We'll we'll talk more about this next month. We talk about the same things up until it comes and goes. So, uh, you know, it, it, we, you'll get another chance. Uh, all right. It looks to me like uh, Kathy or Sheila both has been really busy here, and we're going to talk about old timers day already. And it looks like on the back page they've had the. Yeah, we um, provided a list. I could go back as far as 2008 to get the previous themes for the festivals and the parades. So we've just written some suggestions on the bottom of the page. Uh, we're going to ask for um, y'all's thoughts on what theme you would like to assign for this year's event. I guess this would be something that you would want us to email to yeah. you. Yeah, y'all could look at it and just come up yeah. with which one, you know, if you want to do one, two, three, or just give your one choice. Just so we're just um, wanting to pick a theme this year. It's our 50th anniversary. Is so, there like a description for each of these themes? So how would I, this is like the very beginning for me. I'm right? sorry? Is there like a description or something so I can read what, okay, what does serving through history mean? Well, I guess. Well, us serving through like, two, like, like 2016 hometown heroes. Um, a lot of that was um, emergency services or previous military um, historical harvest. We had the grand marshal. His family had been in Laverne hundreds plus years. Um, so we're kind of geared towards that. Um, Neighbors serving neighbors. I think you like the rescue squad who founded the rescue squad here in Laverne was the grand marshal that year. So something similar to that. Um, one, one that we're kind of partial to, and we don't want to sway y'all's opinion by any means, is unlocking the past. Since it's our 50th year anniversary, that was something to think oh, about. I'd like to hear all about that. Some, at some point this year, the city is going to um, bury a time capsule. Um, so that was just kind of one we, we thought we were kind of interested in, but did want to get y'all's opinion on that. What was going on this time 50 years ago? <laughs> um, I think Vester Waldron, when he was the first mayor, mm -hmm. um, I think his son, which I didn't get to come to the meeting, but you, Kathy, you came. I think his son, David, came and gave a presentation. Um, you know, back then there probably wasn't 5,000 people in Laverne. Well, I don't necessarily mean in Laverne, just in the... It, it was 1962. Yeah, I mean... No, 72. Things that were going on in our country and, and you know, I guess... Uh, well, there's, we have on here honoring our heritage and celebrating our heritage. Does it, wouldn't that kind of be combined? It is. I just went through and tried to oh. come up with different suggestions. I looked on the internet and some other okay. 50th anniversary themes that other cities had done. Yeah. And then also like best place to live. That was out of the Money Magazine article. And then they just got the new slogan, a place to come home to. Oh. They just voted that in last year. So those, that's just some ideas of what we could gotcha. do for the 50th okay. anniversary. Okay. But since it's a big one, we wanted your input on what y'all wanted to see as the thing. So there again, we'll... So we pick three of these and kind of let you guys look. Yeah, like one, two, three, maybe, and then we'll majority kind of thing. Gotcha. See if, if one beats, you know, more than the other. I, I, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there again, we'll be talking about this every every month at the meetings or if something pops up, Sheila will send us emails. Okay. 
and kind of get us, but we'll be talking about it. Do we have any dates yet? Um, for the um, old timers, is scheduled for September 17th. Now, as far as the theme, we do normally start getting the design work done at the beginning of the year, so we anticipate getting that done by the end of March. We'll submit it to the design firm, and we have to provide that theme for them to go off of. And so when do you want our response? Um, if you could have it, let's say, if you can, two weeks, if that's okay. Anne's the one that goes through the design firm, so I'd like to at least give her a theme when she comes back mid to late March. Okay. Who do we? So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I was going to say, who do we email it to? Um, oh, I, that would help, wouldn't it? I'll give you my email address at the end. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I don't know that either. Or you get the, um, you get the emails. If you want to respond back to oh, yeah. the group of the reminder for the meeting, you can do it that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That way everybody gets it. Don't, uh, if you're sending this in and stuff, don't don't respond back to the... Entire group? Yeah, don't, just rep to, just don't reply to, to all. Just okay. reply to Sheila. Okay. Uh, I think I replied to all before. You did, and that's fine. There, no, I know. But anytime you want to ask them a question... You all don't want to hear well, no, it's not that. It just might be, might be something that you you want to uh, know for your own self. Correct. Being. I got gotcha. you. Because if yeah. if if I reply back to you and tell you something different, and it's wrong, right? I hear then, you. Then, you know, if you keep it in one direction, then it, it'll be okay. Gotcha. Well, I wanted to say um, David said something about a time capsule. That you, is that something we're thinking about? Are we opening or are we putting one in? I think we are putting one in. Okay. And I don't know if the city's designated a location yet. At some time there was a talk about the library maybe? Yeah, that was thrown out there, but that's been several months. So that's more of a, I believe, a city hall thing that they're doing. So okay. that's not really something that we plan. Um, well, so something to think about when we're looking at these. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, is there a buried time capsule somewhere already? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I bet there is, just well, nobody knows about it. There. It's probably covered up by now. <laughs> is is the town castle going to be open to the public, or is it just a city thing to do? Um, as far as we know, it should be. But um, like I said, yeah, we're not really involved in the planning of that. Um, I don't even know what the date is on that yet, because um, that was more of a city hall function. Did you see that one they found the other day on the news? Did you catch yeah. that? That was is like 1927 or something. Oh, that was. Is that? that the one in Lee? There were some papers in it talking about what was going on at that day and what that little town was doing. And oh. uh, I don't remember what it was on where I seen it, but I seen it on the news. But uh, it was just kind of old timey stuff, kind of. Yeah, kind of unique. Doing. Yeah. You know. That's fun. <laughs> you got us some music, good music lined up, David. Um. I don't think we have got anybody um, under contract yet. I hope we you get the ones we didn't get to, to see. Eagle Maniac, since we lost them last year on that Saturday. Um, I don't know who the headliner is going to be Friday. We really hadn't discussed that. We've had Resurrection here two years. I don't know if we want to go a different route this year. Um, but we we would be we'd love to have Eagle Maniacs come. You know come. Is Resurrection the Journey Band? Yes. I was all over that. <laughs> yes, she was. I was all over that. I couldn't sit down. Do they have anything out there? Because after seeing some uh, videos from last night, do they have any people out there that's doing like Motown? Oh, God, I love that too. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they do. Um, actually, we have. You know, the Temptations and the Four Tops were in concert yeah. last night. Some of my friends sent me videos. Of course, you all know I play that music at the Senior Center, and they love it, but the Motown group, like the one we saw in uh, Gatlinburg. I remember when they came to Starwood. <laughs> so. A long time ago. <laughs> but we, anyway, those are things that, uh, any, any questions about Old Timers Day? Nope. Is there a deadline for vendors to uh, apply? For old timers yes we've not even opened the registrations for that yet we only put it on here just because of the theme we normally open the registrations for september around the end of april okay so. and are we are we still looking at having like a band friday night 
We are. Okay. We are, yes. And if we could put in a special prayer request for please have good weather. Yes. All right. So let's move on to one of the uh, favorites here, although I did not get to participate in this because I was deathly ill. It was amazing and you I, missed it. I know. I heard all yeah. about it. Yes. It the was ice great. rink. Um, this is actually going to come before um, the Board of Mayor and Aldermen at the workshop this Thursday. We had wanted to expand it anyway, and then Extra Ice contacted Kathy a couple of weeks ago with a 40% off sale. So it was perfect Who timing did? for us. Extra Ice, they were the vendor of the um, ice panels. So this is going to come before the board. We're actually going to try to increase the size of the rink by 50%. Cool. Um, so you guys will be seeing that. So that's going to be um, the area is going to be 50% more, and then it's going to come with the um, barriers also, the rink barriers. I think we're good on skates, skating aids. I don't think we need any more of those at this time. Um, but this couldn't come at more perfect time because we're going to bring that in front of you guys for the planning retreat anyway. But if we do it, if we go ahead and do it now, that'll go ahead and save us about 40%. It'd be nice to have a few more vendors there rather than the, just the shaved ice and the cocoa. Yeah, that didn't quite work out like we had envisioned. Mm. Uh, 35 degrees and selling shaved ice. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. I did like when it was cool because it really goes with the ice rink, right? And it kind of works together, but cocoa is good, but it would be nice to maybe some chili or I don't know. We had some um, other vendors that were originally supposed to sell like uh, mm -hmm. mini donuts, fresh mini donuts yeah. and so forth. But with the weather being yeah. the way it was, it, they didn't follow through. Right. So. Almost hard to plan. Yeah, that's a, that's a sore spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. The ice rink for last year was a big hit. Heard a lot about it. Uh, heard a lot of negativity as far as why we do it, not doing it longer. Uh, it was so. It, when I say negativity, I just meant that people wanted it to be there longer. So uh, <clears throat> that's actually a positive. It's like <laughs> it's not really a negative thing, but yeah, it's, right. But uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. I personally, myself, I was there maybe ten minutes the whole session. I was just. So was their issue not a long enough skate session or the No, time they wanted you to keep the, the rink public? up They longer. wanted to be there year round. Okay. <laughs> year round. Yeah, the people that went and loved it and the other people didn't get to go, you know, like myself, you know, a lot of people, one, thing, one reason or another. Uh, I get, will say that when we have the parade of lights it's highly suggested we do not take um oh registration during that time yes yes, yes. yes. a lot of people hadn't got to it was the last night of it and they weren't allowed to get out there and they they were a little upset so maybe we just leave that night open yes we actually that's in our notes for I actually had a problem with my granddaughter with that. We were at it, and they wouldn't let us do it that night, and there was nobody out there, and they're like, ah, it's sold out. And, and that's like, because it, the ones who pre-registered were stuck in the traffic. Yeah. Well, we got there before the parade. The parade hadn't even started yet. And that we did run into that, too. We did have some people who would register and take mm -hmm. a time spot and didn't show up at all. Yeah. They so, probably couldn't get through because we had shut the roads down, and you couldn't yeah, get Yeah, so yeah. Um, that is something we're going to look at again this year when we – offer it she was like four she's she was four at the time so it's like she'd been out there 10 minutes and been done <laughs> yep yeah yeah the first year like that of just about anything is uh trial is error. a trial and error. error that's right <laughs> all right any questions about the dog i, I mean the dog rink mm -hmm. the ice rink <laughs> i'm looking forward to this dog park talk <laughs> i don't know anything about it this will be mr andrew well, we're definitely moving forward now. Um, last Wednesday, they started public work, started hauling in dirt. We're definitely trying to solid rock, so definitely want to get a good bed of dirt in there. Um, public Works is also working with our concrete contractor to go ahead and get that started probably within the next 30 days or so to go ahead and start pouring some concrete. Um, the fence is probably going to be in the process of getting bit out, so. 
hopefully by late summer we'll be able to open this. What? Now, as far as you all, it is on Stones River Road right beside the Senior Center, and it's about 3.4 acres. It's going to have a two sides, a large side, or a large dog side and a small dog side. The parking lot's going to be in the center. It's going to have uh, water fountains on both sides, some pet waste stations. Uh, will there be benches or anything? Yes, there will be benches, okay. um, trash cans. Okay. So. You said Stones River Road. What's, yes. Do you know the address? I believe it's 377 Stones River Road. Oh. I might just drive by. Well, it takes a big jump there. Yeah. Because the senior's 229, ain't it? Or no? 337. 337. Yeah. 337? Or 377? It's three. The dog, dog park, park. Okay. is 377. The senior's yes. three. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> is this going to have the memorial to the canine that was? Um, no. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, this, has been in, this has been in the works for... Actually, we got the grant two years ago, so we have three years to implement the grant, and that'll be up this September. Um, but before that, you know, there had been talk about trying to bring a dog park to Avern. I, I just, I, I knew I'd heard something about mm -hmm. it. I just didn't know if this was it. And if anybody asks about maybe the why it's taking so long and stuff, there's a couple of things you can tell them. First of all, we're doing it completely in-house. Yeah. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So everything we're doing, we're doing the Laverne employees are doing it. We don't, you know, they, the city could have paid and hired it out and it would have been done in a couple, three weeks. But it doesn't work that way. So, you know, we're trying to save money. Plus the dog park's gonna be pretty epic. And uh, speaking of that, David, did you, uh, have you spoke with, uh, uh, what's my vet's name? Dr. Isaac. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Yeah, Isaac. Actually, I think, was he texting me? today or over the weekend he's going to donate some uh pet waste stations and uh the bags and, yes, and everything he's going to have a sign with his information on it you know donated yeah. to his office yeah he was uh he was excited about doing that for us yeah he's been a he's been a big fan he made a i believe a 500 dollars donation several months ago to the dog nice. park oh, super nice man He's a good vet. He's a good vet, too. What's his name? Good Samaritan, Dr. Isaac. Dr. Isaac. Good Samaritan, yes. Any questions about the dog park? I'm going to support um, Dr. Isaac in a pet mo Petco <laughs> or Pet Mart. Pet Smart. Yeah, he's up here at the end of Stones River at, at Old Nashville Highway. Okay. Yeah. All right, now this is the one that I'm excited about, and I know that uh, wow. <laughs> Mr. Perry's got lots of questions, and I know that uh, we're going to try to get some dates here so we can really start blowing this up as our female flag football game. So I have uh, three organizations that have committed to helping me, and I have 50 women tentatively uh, Players? participate. Yes. Wow. Uh, they're not all committed, and... But I'd say they, uh, that's the date, basically just do the date time. We don't have a uh, confirmed date. So I get a confirmed date, I uh, I'm not going to guarantee. But. So I guess that's where you come <laughs> in there, Miss Kathy. There. Andrew, well, David, Sheila, somebody over on that side? We, uh, we talked about it, and it would be in the fall time, be National Night Out. Could that's we, okay. I don't, as long as we can narrow down a yeah. date. October 4th is National Night Out. So the whole community's there already. So maybe that will help gain a little traction. Um, of course what about the softball on, game? It's during the week, so. Yeah. It is on a Tuesday night. What about the softball game? We have that too. That, we'd have a softball game. You'd have um, your football game there, vendors. That would, we're just trying to drive as much attention to it the very first year as possible. It's a good idea. Are we starting it this year, or is it something we just kind of like get the hype going for it this year, and then not playing yet? So we can't. I mean, it's we can look at other dates. We can't just, find no Saturday. A lot of the Saturdays are booked with um, softball and baseball tournaments. What about a Friday? Fridays. I mean, we can look at Fridays. A Thursday or a Friday. I think 
That'll be better. Do you have, oh, as far as what time of year, your groups would be best suited for? I know if you do sororities, they're out of college in May. So we've done the, like, that's why we were thinking the fall time, somewhere in there, they're all back in session. I don't have a problem with the fall as the early fall. I, what I do have a problem with is not doing it on a Saturday. That's my so only. So is this going to, is it going to be um, intercollegiate, intramural based, or is this going to be Laverne community based? It'll be just, I want to treat it as a camaraderie of people, whether it be Laverne or, or whoever, plus uh plus a fundraiser, plus uh, folks getting out and getting to know each other. Because, you know, a lot of people like Carol here, she wants to play, you know. Uh, Are you talking one game? Well, so one of the ideals that I think Giles brought it up, or uh, if we could get enough women, we could have like a – all day round robin, or we could just play a couple of games for fun and ha-has. Doesn't have to be nothing, you know. Uh, I, I don't really know. I'm soul searching here for the right thing to say about it, but I think it would be good for uh, for laughs and for competitiveness and for uh, community involvement, for getting to know each other. I think a lot of people would come out and watch the ladies and let them play and have fun. And uh, I myself would would be up in the uh, announcing, uh, making fun of them, for lack of better words. Playing music. Playing music. Uh, Probably get the ladies from the senior center to do this, something with the concession stands. I've got uh, Robert uh, uh, drawing a blank. He's an official. He wants to officiate. No, no, no it's, uh, he lives out there right behind the new Dollar General store. I forget his name. He, I know if, I, if he's watching this, he's going to kill me. Uh, but, but I'd like to at least do it this one time and get it going and, you know, something different. Yeah. Well, if we do it on a Friday night, I guess you wouldn't be able to do a round robin set up. So, and if we did it on Saturday, we could. Well, it doesn't have to be a, a round robin. It could, it, like I said, it could just be a couple of games. Yeah. Uh, you thinking seven on seven, yeah. Giles? I am. So, seven on seven, that would be – 14, 28, you're talking about 50 women. You could have two games easily, 10-minute uh, quarters, start at 5 o'clock, you'd be done by 8.30 or 9, you know. So uh, just, just a question, are we going to do the block party again this year? We are. That may be a good venue for well, it. Well, the only problem is it's um, scheduled for May 7th. And the bulk of the block party is on the football field. Ah, gotcha. We've got a cornhole tournament on the football field and a movie on the football field. So that's why we didn't incorporate it into that one. Gotcha. And I, I know it's May 7th this year, but if you remember last year's block party, it was hot. Yes, it was. It was it's horribly hot. Welcome to. So um, that's why we didn't incorporate it into that event. Welcome to Tennessee. So let's at least give it a puncher's chance here. Try to find us a, a, a Friday night, Andrew. Okay. And uh, b because we need to start talking it up. I'm, I mean, I put a little bit of it out on Facebook, and it got a lot of good positive reviews. And I people. Mean, is the fall time, a Friday night in the fall, is that a good idea? Right. Is that something y'all want to work towards, or? If it's early fall. Early fall. Okay. Yeah. I mean, of course, when it's nice and cool. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to do it before the time changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you can search for that. Okay. Maybe before high school starts too. Okay. It's going to be a Friday. That's a big competition right there. 
that'll work. But a, a, a date is, is what I think myself and, and Giles both. Um, yeah, that's the hinders for me. What do y'all think about this? How much experience do you need to have to be a female flag football player? Just be a female. <laughs> well, I can do that. <laughs> Sounds interesting. I have, I've never even thought about it, to tell you the truth. I would, I've never even thought about it. I'll be happy to work the event. I will not be playing. <laughs> but if you can at least try to narrow us down a, a, a date and a time on a Friday, early fall, we can start talking about it and bumping it up. And okay. I think that'd help Giles out, wouldn't it? Definitely. So you're wanting to start yeah. about approximately 5 p.m. in the evening? F five would be, you know. You get what, if it's a Friday, you want to make sure people get off work and can get yeah. down there. I'd say like six for traffic. People start showing up at five and then start playing at six. Yeah, we could do that. That's a good idea, yeah. We'll give them old timers time to stretch out and put on their <laughs> knee things and back and hip. And yeah, Carol put on her neck better. brace. No, I don't need it after. <laughs> All right, let's move on to baseball, softball. Um, Tennessee Strikers, as you guys know, are running the league. They are having um, signups now. I think they're having on-site signups this Saturday at Veterans Park. Um, as of right now, I think they have less than 100 signed up. Um, so just wanted to throw that out there. I don't know how many they would have to have to actually move forward with the spring season. Uh, just my way of thinking is they would need considerably more than 100. I would think around 200 minimum. Um, I'm not sure on their final number because um, they're still doing sign-ups. I've not seen a lot of advertising on social media. Uh, we haven't either. Um, we have offered to go around town, put signs and banners up for them, um, and we have gotten no response. Um, so we'll see how their sign-ups go. All right. I think we'll just let David and that bunch over there deal with this there's not much we got to say about that nope. now this vice chairman thing i don't even know what that means so i'll turn this over to david well i think <clears throat> at the beginning of each year which we really haven't done in the past each each committee or advisory board that meets um should select a vice chairman in case um vice mayor no was not able to be at that meeting Instead of doing it during that meeting for a one-time meeting only, we can have a person in place to go ahead if, in his absence to fill in as a vice chair. Does their char I guess their charter kind of calls for that, don't it? It does, and we haven't um, we haven't done it in the past. If we have, I'm not aware of it. But I knew um, I think at one meeting you you weren't going to be at several months ago, late last year. Um, we just decided not to hold a meeting. This would give us the opportunity to move forward with at least trying to get a quorum every month. So does somebody need to make a motion for a vice and then a second and I vote on it? So I think somebody on the board um, would have to make a motion and then be majority. Yes, sir. Well, I'll make a motion to put Carol Haas as vice chairman. And I second it. So I'll do a roll call. Jody, yes or no? Y yay, yes. Chuck? Yes. Laura? Giles? Yes. And you can vote for yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, who's Carol Or Haas? abstain. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll vote yes. So Carol Haas will be the new vice chairman in case uh, I can't make it, I guess. You know, I think I mentioned that when I first came on board and it just kind of got by the wayside because uh, it seems to me it's a, it's kind of a common and sense. And you're good about, you're being, you're good at being at every meeting anyway. This is just a fail safe in case something happens and you can't make it. Um, that way we can still move forward with it. 
Can I ask kind of a dumb question? Why are we are we separated for a reason? Who are are you guys a separate entity than us? No, we're well. We're the Parks Department, um, oh. so we all work out of the Parks Building. Okay. Um, this is Kathy Melindy. She's our events coordinator. Okay. Andrew Stoffel. He's our Park Supervisor, and then Sheila Motors is our Administrative Assistant. Okay. And you are? I'm David. Um, parks director. Okay, and so we are here to just to work with you on yes. putting these events together. Yeah, basically. we're advisory board. Okay, yes. we're an advisory board. Advisory. Yes. Okay, just checking. I wasn't sure. Sheila, I know because I saw her emails. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's the fried bologna sandwich that don't eat meat person. All right, <laughs> so. <laughs> We'll finish up There's with. There's a long uh, story for yeah. that. Yeah. We'll let you know. <laughs> uh, we won't throw the new ones in the fire first. I'll start on this side over here. Mr. Perry, you got any comments, concerns, questions? Uh, not at this time. Just uh, get a tentative date or a, a date set for uh, football. We'll be good. All right. Thank you, Ms. Carroll. Vice Mayor or Vice Chairman? Vice Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm just looking forward to things picking up because the weather's getting good and we're going to start kicking some activities in in March and we're going to be just rolling and looking forward to the community coming out again with the weather getting nice and seeing everybody and reconnecting. Okay, Miss Laura Davidson. I want to thank you all very much for all the hard work that's about to come your way. We'll do our very best to help you. Welcome to our board, and we look forward to seeing you at all of these upcoming events. Mr. Chuck. Uh, I don't really have anything. It's my first meeting here, but okay. yeah, thanks for having me, and thanks for everything you're doing. Miss Jody. Pretty much the same thing he just said. Thanks for allowing me to do this, and I'm looking forward to helping with these events coming up and going forward, we'll see. Now, you know, as the chairman of the board, I have to be the, the, the bad guy. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, welcome, Jody and, and Chuck. I feel like you guys from, I read your applications and resumes, I feel like you're gonna be a big asset. Uh, and Laura's correct, David, Kathy, you guys are getting ready, spring, summer's coming, you're gonna be busy. What is it? Movies in the park. Um, Sorry, I forgot. What did you, you say? Movies, Movies in the park. Uh, I love those. My grandkids love them. We had them last year on Fridays. This year, our movies, like at the block party, we're ending with a movie. We're trying to incorporate the movies with events. So it's not going to be a separate event. It will be incorporated. Goblins and Goodies has the zombie night at the park and so forth. So we'll still have the summer movies. It'll just be incorporated with something else. Oh, I'm sorry. So I didn't actually, it would be more than if you, more movies, um, more okay. events. I mean, I think we had four last year and I think there's four this year. Okay. So that are, that are scheduled. There may be more added, but those are the ones we've incorporated with the events so far. Great. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. It was, it hit me. <laughs> I guess we'll talk about that next month or yeah. Your first night as vice chairman, and you just take over. <laughs> she just slide in, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, David and Kathy, Andrew and Sheila's getting ready to get really busy. Uh, we have a lot of things coming up. I want to talk about one thing. Since I've been on this board, I have talked about this all the time. Uh, I know Carol's heard it. I'm sure Lauren Giles has heard it, but I'm gonna bring it up again. I was approached within the last couple of weeks by two individuals and I heard some rumors and I'm gonna set it straight right here tonight. Uh, I am not asking for free labor. That's not what I'm asking for. I'm asking for this board to come out to these events and participate. If you want to volunteer and help, that will be great. But if you don't never come out to an event, then your advisory, when it comes to this board, don't hold a lot of weight. 
Not in my opinion. Now let's get this straight. It's my opinion. That way you, nobody, there won't be no rumors out there. Steve's <laughs> opinion. But it was brought to my attention by two individuals that, that I was asking for free labor, and I am not. Oh. Matter of fact, we don't do anything. That bunch right over there and all the crew, they do all the work, they do all the sweat and blood and tears, anything that this board provides at any of the events is strictly on you. I personally, when I'm standing and talking to somebody and somebody comes up to me, I like to introduce whoever I'm standing there with. This is so-and-so, they're on our park advisory committee. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. If someone comes up to you that I may not know, I like it when you introduce me as the chairman or vice mayor or whatever, and if they have any questions, it's a good it's a good thing. So don't ever think that I'm trying to get you all to come out and work at these things. But I can say if I don't never see you, it's hard for me to digest a piece of advice. I, I hope that makes sense. Well participation is key. So anyway, our next meeting, I'll quit rambling, is March twenty first at 6 p.m. Yep. I'll call this meeting adjourned.